Mm. And thanks to the sacrifice you made, Descendant, I was also able to access the Inversion Technology Database, which had been sealed. Inversion was a forbidden technology that reversed the entropy of infinite energy composites like the Ironheart and turned them into antimatter. The inverted Ironheart was intended to be a core element as part of a process to reverse the laws of nature. Antiparticle weapons, destruction of the dimensional wall, multi-dimensional space-time connections. I see traces of countless unthinkable plans. According to the development logs, Inversion was created by extremists among the ancestors, who were obsessed with using the Iron Heart. But it seems the Vulgus somehow obtained this Inversion technology. I think the ancestors and the Vulgus were connected in some way, long before I was created. I can find no records as to whether that relationship was one of conflict or cooperation, but there may have been no reason to include that in my files. As you know, I am not here to protect the Iron Hearts. I am essentially a track and annihilate program designed to destroy them and everything about them. And through this recent research, I have become more certain of my role and my mission. Descendant, I have acquired an algorithm to analyze inverted energy and have derived a way to destroy it. My next step is to try and apply this to our current situation. Although we can only extract the inverted iron heart from within RK once, theoretically, there may be a faster and more certain way to destroy it than the process we might use for a regular iron heart if we use the properties of antimatter. Wait. Descendant. A wave that I have never previously felt within the void is approaching. It seems a Colossus has been drawn to the inverted energy. I'm sure we'll hear from Albion soon. Colossus closing in, moving towards the Hagios Prime hands at a rapid speed. Classification type, Swamp Walker, a deadly Great Walker mutation. Descendants in Albion, commence with the intercept battle. Come on, Mr. Colossus expert. Hagios is Volgus territory. Can't we just leave it to them? I agree. Right now, we've got bigger things on our mind. Entertaining those thoughts can be very dangerous, Jaber and Blair. Have you completed preparations? Descendant, I have received reports of your outstanding performance in Hagios and with our ongoing research into inversion. We believe that Swamp Walkers were alerted by the inverted energy exposed in Hagios and began heading toward Ingress's dimension. But they're not only targeting Hagios. They're currently moving toward multiple areas within Ingress. What will you do if one of the Swamp Walkers approaches Albion? I heard that you have submerged the inverted Ironheart in your arcade. Can you guarantee that they won't be drawn to that energy, Descendant? We cannot always assume a best-case scenario. That kind of carelessness is how humanity was almost totally annihilated a century ago. You are humanity's hope, Descendant. You need to be more proactive. <sighs> Damn it. Since Mr. Colossus Expert is being so serious about this, Looks like we have no choice, turret boy. I believe the data from the Colossus will prove useful. Useful? For what? Cracking open amorphous materials? Please, just let her finish. As Seneca said, the Colossi are moving towards various regions, not just Hagios. If those regions show signs of inverted energy, we may be able to use that for our overall plan. The plan to destroy the Iron Heart. Well, that's good news! Whatever you're planning, we have to do it fast. The White Knight Gulch is still dangerous. The recent intercept battle provided an opportunity for me to survey the area around the Colossi's target destination from within the Void Dimension. They were headed towards some snowy fields, and the area was emitting a large amount of inverted energy. 
Guy, the location I just sent you? That's where we think the Vulgus Fortress is. If you found any features or have any intel, send us the details. Ah. I see. So the Colossi were heading towards the Vulgus Fortress. If the inversion took place there, it would not be unusual to detect a large amount of energy. No wonder the Colossi were drawn there. Descendant, we can definitely use this to our advantage. According to what we know so far, if we apply the inversion process to the inverted Ironheart, in theory, that Ironheart will be completely destroyed through particle-antiparticle annihilation. This is the fastest and most certain method of destroying the Ironheart that we currently know of. The only drawback is that it will also destroy everything around it. But we can use this to our tactical advantage. If the operation is a success, the Vulgus will have nowhere to return to. Descendant, if you cannot retrieve the Ironheart from the White Knight Gulch, you must make a decision regarding this alternative plan while it is still viable. Please discuss it with HQ. It will be a difficult decision, but everyone will need to be in agreement. Alpha, these are the details of the operation that the guide has laid out. What do you think? Enzo, this isn't an easy decision to make. But it's not like we have any other option. Let's at least assemble everyone to discuss this. Got a question about the... First of all, the guide's operational plan provides many tactical advantages. The majority of the Vulgus forces have already been dispatched to the White Knight Gulch, and Corel isn't aware of what happened in Hagios, thanks to the long-range jamming signals established by Jaber. If this situation continues, we will be able to lay siege to the fortress and Corel will be none the wiser. There has never been a more ideal moment to attack the Vulgus Fortress since the beginning of this war, and the chance may never come again. However, if our goal is not just to attack, but to destroy an Ironheart, this will not be enough. If we pull back our forces from the White Knight Gulch and behave as if we have another strategy in mind, that should attract Corel's attention. We need a foolproof way to lure them in, much like how Corel ensnared us with the White Knight Gulch operation. In other words, this is a plan that requires someone willing to face death, to act as bait, all while protecting the Ironheart and distracting Corel. I realize I am asking for someone to sacrifice themselves, and as commander, I can't bring myself to give such a merciless order. What if someone volunteers? Enzo? What is it? Alpha the Descendants can act as bait. If we deploy an unprecedented number of Descendants to the front, that will be more than enough to distract Corel. Corel's also aware that the Descendants are humanity's last hope, so he's going to relish trying to squash our last stand. The fact that he's approaching slowly, like a dark cloud, without warping, that shows that he believes he's already won the war. And with Corel's attention drawn elsewhere, if we send some of the descendants to the Vulgus Fortress and destroy the Ironheart, we'll be able to turn the tide of war. The manifestation of Archean descendants doesn't just mean we have to be powerful weapons. As humanity's last hope, we should sow the seeds of victory. Now, the majority of the descendants, including me, will engage in battle at the White Knight Gulch to buy some time. While Ajax, his team, and the rest of the descendants will be deployed to the Vulgus Fortress. Awaiting your approval, Alpha. <sighs> All right, you win. Carry out the operation. Let's get this done and destroy the Ironheart. On one condition, you must all return safely and tell the Guide to look after the Descendants. Understood. I wish everyone good luck at the White Knight Gulch Front.
Don't worry, this is great. I've always wanted to have a go at Corel. <laughs> Get in line, kid. There is a line, you know. I'd like to cut in front of you as well. Enzo, please take care of yourself. Remember our promise. There is no way I'll forget. Don't worry. We'll win. It seems everyone has steeled their resolve. Everyone's arche is glowing. I doubt that even the ancestors anticipated this moment. I'm so happy to have met humans with arche like yours. Despite my limitations as an AI, I believe I understand what courage is now. All right. Descendant, I'll accompany you to the Volgus Fortress. We must locate the inversion facility there and overload the Iron Heart to destroy it. I know we can do this, Descendant. I will be with you the entire way. This is off topic, but uh, aren't you all cold? My battlesuit has a built-in heating function. It was designed for void expedition missions. Huh. I'm actually a little warm. <sighs> I'm jealous. Can I trust you, Eva? The Volgus Fortress. We knew such command facilities existed, but we never had any information about their sizes or exact locations. Our terrain scanner never detected them, and as they were deep within Volga's territory, it was impossible to send any recon squads. Seeing them up close and personal now, they're pretty imposing. <laughs> if I ever go back to being a military academy professor, I'd like to write a paper about this fortress. But there's no need for us to be intimidated. Once we've destroyed the Ironheart, the tide of war and history, turn in our favor. All right, infiltration team, let's get to it. Our primary goal is to infiltrate where the Volgus signals are the weakest and locate the source of inverted energy. Unfortunately, the guide can only detect the general energy scattered throughout the area. And because we're in a massive energy field, it's like being lost in fog. It'll be difficult to find the source. So, we need to do reconnaissance around the fortress and gather information about the source of the inverted energy. It's going to be an extremely dangerous mission. Good luck, all of you. The survival of humanity depends on it. Levick, I sense an increase in inverted energy around you. Where are you now? I was investigating the wreck of a Volga's ship. And I think I've stirred up a hornet's nest. I need support. Lubbock, how far out are you? Wait right there. I should never have sent Lubbock off by himself. My bad. Hey, these Volgus punks are responding really quickly. Looks as if their commander isn't to be taken lightly. Let's eliminate the defense forces here first. Then secure the gate that leads to the wrecked ship. I really hope Lepi can withstand it until then. Captain Survival, you need to hold them off until we get there. You don't have to tell me. If I die, the 44th Grenadiers will be completely wiped out. That location there seems to be one of the main strongholds for enemy munitions transport. We might be able to kill two birds with one stone. Great job. Local Vulgus have lost their chain of command and they're scattering. This is Lubbock. Thanks for the support. You saved my life. Jonathan, thanks to you, we were able to obtain important information from the wrecked ship. 
The inversion device must be somewhere around here. Descendant, the Volga ship in front of you appears to have crash-landed on its way to Ingress. The flight log has been completely erased, but the date of when it ends is close to the date when the Volgas first appeared. What is also important is that this ship was loaded with huge, powerful energy equipment. At first I thought it was the ship's engine or power source, but I soon found that theory to be incorrect. Do you remember when the Hagios Prime Hand's ruins erupted with radiant heat? This ship is similar. The central part has a thick coating that can absorb radiant heat. Such a measure would not have been necessary unless inversion technology was involved. That means that this ship was equipped with an inversion device. Descendant, I believe I know where it might have been installed if the device has not been destroyed or removed from the ship. I'll send the potential location to your SCV. Try looking there, Descendant. The location that the guide sent is full of Volga signals. Let's spread out and take control of the area. Now it's my turn, you Volga bastards. <laughs> Anyone who brings me the heads of the Descendants will be rewarded by Tulan himself! Enemy morale seems to be rising. You better be careful. The defense forces have been eliminated. Commencing facility search. Viesa, Lepic, keep engaging the enemy. These defense garrison forces are pretty tough. Don't worry about us. Focus on your own electric duties, Professor. Once you locate the inversion facility, let's finish this once and for all. Now that we have entered the facility, I can clearly feel powerful inverted energy. I can even detect iron heart particles. Yes. I am certain that the has performed the inversion process here. That's good news. So we can destroy the iron heart here then? I hope this ends well. Descendant, I detect inverted energy coming from that direction. <laughs> It appears we definitely won't need the radiant heat absorption coating here. I understand why they moved the equipment here from the ship. This is an excellent place to cool it. But... There is something odd about it, too. Considering the high temperatures of the inverted energy we observed in Hagios, it is impossible that a glacial cave like this could have stayed intact throughout the process. It does not even show signs of melting and reforming. Sorry, but there's no time to play detective. A large Vulcus force is headed your way. Get ready. facility via the terminal. I'll try to discover anything I can. This is the inversion machine that was loaded onto the ship. But everything is destroyed. What happened here? And there's nothing we can do. Wait. They have a surveillance record in the facility database. I'll continue. Thank <laughs> you. 
facility called the inversion furnace somewhere. The inversion process must have been completed there. Guide, right now getting out of here safely is priority number one. Locating the inversion furnace comes second. I will try to find someone to get the emergency transmission at each front. Eugen, does anyone need to be evacuated from the White Knight Gulch? We can't get a full picture of what's happening in the combat zones. Valby, use your waterways and check on the injured. Roger that. Submerging. There isn't much time. We have to descend it. Thank the heavens your injury is not serious. I received the report from Ajax's team. Honestly, when I first saw that abandoned device, I thought it was all over. But then, we discovered another facility by investigating the first one, an inversion furnace. HQ has also identified a converter outside its typical range through a terrain scan. Perhaps we'll find clues related to the furnace there. No, it has to be there. The only way to turn the tide of this war now is to destroy the Ironheart. We must find the inversion furnace and finish the operation as soon as possible, before Corel realizes. Wait! It's Kyle! Nell, patch him through! Standing by for connection. Verifying signal optimization. All quiet. Do you need information? Go ahead, Kyle. Our troops will arrive in Albion soon. We're systematically withdrawing forces from the front line. Everyone has defended calmly and well, executed the planned retreats, and bought us time. The number of casualties is lower than expected. We're approaching the final moments. We've received a report that Corel has descended from his ship. Kyle, Marcus and the Investigative Corps are headed your way. Their support should help you hold out a little longer. I'm grateful to Marcus, but we plan on fighting using only the power of the Descendants from now on. We're here to achieve victory, not take everyone down with us. And it's better to fight as a small group within the Prime Hand's ruins. Descendants don't have to shoulder the entire burden. If things go south, I want you to give up the Ironheart and retreat immediately. <laughs> we can't just end the show when we keep attracting such huge audiences. We'll try to buy as much time as possible. Over and out! Luna! This won't do. If we're done with resupply and repairs, all units move to the location of the converter. We're running out of time on both fronts. We have to hurry. Got it. Let me tack on one more arm component before we go. Do you want like an ice cube or something to snack on? Ugh, let's just get going. And I trust you'll be the all units. I have your missions for this operation. As you know, our goal is to locate the inversion furnace. 
However, there's something you need to know. The defense commander of this fortress is called Kulan. Kulan is known to have single-handedly defeated multiple colossi. In other words, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them by himself. Lepic, you and I will protect the team from Kulan. We have to block main routes and secure favorable terrain before he appears. The rest of you, help the guide search for the inversion furnace. Guide, do you have any intel that might be useful? I'm sorry. I detect a high concentration of inverted energy in this area. But I'm still finding it difficult to identify the exact source from this proximity. Don't worry. Sometimes things can become more clouded the closer you get to them. It's like that for me with Aisha. Whenever you go into the void to look for her, I'll help you. I'll hold you to that. This is... Descendant. I have finally pinpointed the location of the inversion furnace. The facility is in the basement of Fortress Command. I have detected colossi remains that have been melted by the furnace flowing in that direction. But our enemies have already established a line of defense between here and the command facility. The commander of this fortress must be waiting for us. Descendant, do you think we can break through this vulgus defense line with the forces we have? I regret pushing you into a corner, but I believe this is the only way. We'll be fine, guide. Right now, we have no choice but to get it done. All units, converge upon the point of attack at the fortress's defense line. Maintain your position there, ready for our final operation. Yeah.